everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with expert timing. There were funky China men from funky Chinatown. They were chopping. taught us that it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Now, I want you to go fight like a razorback hog. I want you to jump in like a goliath frog. Greatness is not, goddammit, inborn or innate. It's made. Yes, yes, you heard me right. Greatness is made, motherfucker. Now go make yourself great. Somehow, people have come to think of talent and skill as a thing you either have or you don't, but that's not true. Talent isn't something you've got or not. Rather, it's something you either cultivate a little, but preferably a lot. Giftedness, natural-born talent, prodigy, and all these other words like it. The words exist, but the things in reality do not exist. They're linguistic apparitions. They're meaningless lists. They're lists of words without any real referent. They're antiquated, dated, not current. Talent is a methodical process that you hone through practice and repetition. Talent comes with incremental success. Learning the habit of practice, that is your mission. Because it's not how talented or how smart you are. It's how deep down your desire goes, how high you're willing to fly, and how far. It doesn't matter at all if your opponent is heavier, or if you're significantly lighter. You fight a boxer, you box a fighter. If you're gonna punch above your weight as I'm telling you now to do, you better by God make that motherfucking punch great. Make it a knockout punch, motherfucker. Make the bones in your fist pop and crunch, you cocksucker. Is cultivating your living potential what this life is all about? Yes. Yes, I say without any shadow of a doubt. There is no doubt in my mind either that your living potential is worth suffering and fighting for. Now go and do more, you cocksucker. Now go and do likewise, you motherfucker. <laughs>